we have two more objects that have come through and they have some weird properties. The brightness, the rotation rate, and so they don't match some of our models for what comets and asteroids should do. Whatever anomalous behavior these objects exhibit, I'm delighted that they're finally in the catalog and we'll figure it out one day, maybe? Something extraordinary is barreling through our solar system, and it's rewriting what astronomers thought they knew about comets. Meet 3IATLAS, the interstellar visitor that's defying every expectation. Unlike anything we've seen before, it's ejecting a metal compound that should not exist in nature, a highly refined alloy normally produced only in human laboratories. Observations from elite observatories, including the Hubble Space Telescope and the James Webb Space Telescope, have captured a bizarre, sun-facing jet that seems to scoff at the rules of cometary physics. The moment astronomers first spotted 3IATLAS in July 2025, excitement swept through the community. Its hyperbolic trajectory marked it as a visitor from beyond our solar system, but its size, unusual chemical emissions, and peculiar activity immediately set it apart. By August, the WM Keck Observatory had confirmed something truly unprecedented. The comet was spewing roughly 4 grams of nickel every second, but strikingly, no detectable iron accompanied it. Normally, nickel and iron are inseparable in cosmic chemistry, making this anomaly all the more perplexing. Further analysis revealed the compound as nickel tetracarbonyl, a substance so refined that on Earth it's used only in aerospace engineering, high-tech coatings, and specialized metallurgical applications. The idea that a natural object hurtling through space for millions of years could contain this molecule left scientists both stunned and exhilarated. Adding to the mystery, Atlas doesn't display a conventional cometary tail. Instead, a jet of material streams directly toward the Sun, a solar-facing plume that multiple instruments have verified. This jet, composed mainly of carbon dioxide and water, with tiny traces of cyanide and nickel compounds, highlights just how chemically peculiar Atlas truly is. Even more confounding is its extreme carbon dioxide to water ratio, about 8 to 1, ranking among the highest ever measured in a cometary object. Light scattering studies offer yet another surprise. The comet's dust grains and surface reflect sunlight in ways never observed before, producing extreme negative polarization. It's as if Atlas is speaking a language of light and matter that no comet in our solar system has ever used. Meanwhile, scientists eagerly await data from Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter's high-rise camera, which captured detailed images during its early October flyby, but a U.S. government shutdown has delayed their release, leaving researchers on edge, craving insights into the comet's structure and jet behavior. At the center of this whirlwind of anomalies is the enigmatic nickel tetracarbonyl. Under known space conditions, this compound simply cannot form naturally, forcing scientists to rethink long-held ideas about how interstellar objects evolve chemically over eons. The prevailing theory still treats Atlas as a natural object, but one forged in exotic circumstances far from our sun. One hypothesis suggests it formed near a carbon dioxide ice line in its home system, where iron and nickel may have been distributed in unexpected ways. Over millions of years, interstellar radiation could have selectively stripped away nickel, leaving iron locked deep within the nucleus. Solar heating during its passage through our system could then trigger rare chemical reactions releasing the nickel tetracarbonyl we now detect. Every new measurement of Atlas is like reading a page from a cosmic diary, one that reveals a story billions of years in the making. Astronomers around the world are holding their collective breath, knowing that this interstellar visitor isn't just a scientific curiosity, it's a window into the chemistry, physics, and history of a solar system light years away. But some voices in the scientific community have taken a more provocative stance. Harvard's Avi Moeb, for example, has drawn attention to Atlas's sun-facing jet, the refined metal emissions, and its unusually precise trajectory, 
features that, in his view, are difficult to reconcile with purely natural processes. Loeb even suggests that the nickel alloy could be a kind of techno-signature, hinting that Atlas might not be entirely of nature's making. Most astronomers, however, approach such claims with measured caution. Extraordinary claims demand extraordinary evidence. And while Atlas is undeniably strange, the current observations remain intriguing rather than conclusive. Around the globe, research teams are now running lab experiments, trying to see if natural chemical reactions under the extreme conditions of interstellar space and near the sun could produce emissions like those observed. Meanwhile, the sun-facing jet itself adds another layer of puzzle. On typical comets, the solar wind pushes gas and dust away from the sun, creating the familiar elongated tail. Atlas, however, does the exact opposite. Material streams directly toward the sun. This isn't the trick of perspective, it's real, and it has scientists scratching their heads. Some are now investigating whether the unusual composition or the size and shape of its ejected grains could account for this reverse behavior. Polarimetric studies hint that Atlas may carry fine, compact surface dust unlike anything seen on ordinary comets, possibly altering how sunlight interacts with the emitted material and guiding the jet in unexpected ways. Regardless of the ultimate explanation, Atlas has already expanded the boundaries of what astronomers believed possible for interstellar objects. Whether it proves to be an exotic natural phenomenon or something more extraordinary, it forces scientists to develop new models, new ways of thinking, and new frameworks for interpreting cosmic visitors. For planetary science, Atlas is a revelation. It is direct evidence of material from another star system that defies our existing chemical models. The presence of nickel without accompanying iron challenges long-standing assumptions about how metals are distributed during planetary formation. If verified, this could point to environments with entirely different temperature gradients, elemental separations, or chemical pathways than anything in our solar system. Atlas also reinforces a growing truth about interstellar visitors. They are diverse. Umuamua surprised the astronomers with non-gravitational acceleration and no visible tail. Tuai Borisov appeared more like a standard comet, and now Atlas is massive, chemically unusual, and dynamically unconventional, a class of interstellar object entirely of its own. This diversity suggests that space is filled not with uniform interstellar travelers, but with a spectrum of bodies, each carrying the unique chemical fingerprint of its home system. For astronomers, Atlas underscores the importance of rapid, multi-wavelength follow-up whenever a new interstellar object is detected. Tools such as spectroscopy, polarimetry, and high-resolution imaging proved indispensable in uncovering Atlas's quirks and they will be vital for decoding future visitors. Even the speculative conversation about techno-signatures proves instructive. Atlas demonstrates how natural processes, given the right conditions, can mimic signals that, at first glance, might seem engineered. It is a reminder that the universe is both stranger and more nuanced than our expectations, and that each interstellar visitor carries a story billions of years in the making, waiting for us to read it carefully. A team of astronomers has made a striking discovery. The interstellar wanderer known as 3IATI-LAS appears to be rich in water ice, potentially trapped within the comet for an astonishing 7 billion years, older than our very own solar system. Imagine a frozen time capsule hurtling across the galaxy, carrying pristine material from a planetary system long vanished. Alongside the ice, scientists detected a complex mix of organic molecules, silicates, and carbon-rich minerals. This blend makes 3IATI-TLAS resemble certain asteroids found at the edges of the main asteroid belt, between Mars and Jupiter, ancient, icy rocks that have lingered on the outskirts of our solar system for billions of years. These findings come from detailed observations using the SPECS instrument on the NASA Infrared Telescope Facility perched on top of Hawaii's Mauna Kea and the Gemini Multi-Object Spectrograph on the Gemini South Telescope in Chile. 
The comet itself was first spotted on July 1, 2025, by the Atlas Survey Telescope, instantly capturing astronomers' attention as just the third confirmed interstellar object ever observed passing through our solar system. Before 3I ATI TLAS, there were only two, the oddly shaped cigar-like 1I Oumuamua in 2017 and the hybrid asteroid comet 2I Borisov. Yet sound scientists estimate that as many as 1 million interstellar visitors could be drifting through our solar system at any given time, lurking unseen in the Oort cloud, the distant icy halo surrounding our sun. Studying Atlas, then, is like glimpsing a message from other planetary systems, written in ice, dust, and rock. 3I ATI TLAS is an active comet, explained Ben Yang, the lead researcher from Universidad Diego Portales. It clearly shows a coma and likely contains a significant amount of water ice. Its physical activity confirms its classification as a comet, but the most exciting part was detecting water ice features in the coma.